And welcome back, this is Baldur's Koopa with bonus episodes of Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Today, we are going to be heading into the Black Pits. Come on, come on. Feast your eyes upon the most marvelous martial magnificence that the Underdark has to offer. I, Baloth the Entertainer, cordially invite you to join the audience of my latest spectacle, The Black Pits. And we've made it to the Black Pits. It was a long journey, I guess. Uh, we are going to play some single player here. I have... A unique system for this one I think at least it feels that way we're gonna go ahead and create a new game I think all right so we're going to create a party so we're gonna delete all these people we're gonna start from the beginning all right so we have to make six people the starting party is a well-balanced group that can eventually tackle all the black pits can't throw at it press on a portrait to see that character statistics feel free to remove a character and create your own all right so I have a random number generator on me uh, we are going to use it to pretty much create these uh, characters from scratch. So, between one and two. Looks like I, it chose one, so we're going to be male this time. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't necessarily pick one of these until, you know, I know what these characters are. But uh, we'll go with uh, you here. You look vaguely familiar. I don't remember who you were though. All right, so race, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Between one and seven, the number is two. So this is gonna be a male elf. So I kind of want to uh, change a new one there. They're not letting me like change the picture though. All right, so whatever picture I assume it's gonna be. All right, class, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, random number between 1 and 10, that number is 7. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Fighter Mage! This is looking very familiar to me. Uh, alignment. Or should be 9, right? So, let's have the alignment of 9. Chose 6. That would be Chaotic Neutral. Interesting. Abilities. Uh, from here, I'm going to just basically choose... Hopefully a number over 85. If I get over 85, I'll be happy. There we go, 80, 86. Uh, for a for a fighter mage, I'm gonna want a lot of strength. Uh, we'll put that there. Uh, no, well they're not letting me do it just yet. We'll take away constitution, put that into strength. 1848. That's good for me. Uh, I want. A little bit less uh, wisdom, a little bit less charisma. I don't think that's going to be important here. We'll max out intelligence, so I at least put it to 18. Yeah, that's maxed out. Uh, dexterity, we'll put it uh, at 16. I, I think that's good. Constitution also works out pretty nicely for me. Um, put that last point in charisma. We won't be terrible. Uh, but yeah, I think that works out all right. We'll deal with that. I, I kind of know what I'm doing, but not very much. Uh, let's go into proficiency slots. I'm going to want... What do I want here? Uh, let's kind of do the same thing that I did before, which is Morningstar and Flail with uh, two-handed. And that's going to be my fighter. That, that works out. All right, so mage level one spell, we're going to want, uh, I don't think identify is gonna be important for this one. I want sleep and magic missile. That's what I used pretty much the whole time. It's what did great things for me throughout. Uh, so hopefully that'll work out well for me. Choose which one, uh, memorize sleep. Yeah, memory sleep. All right, appearance. That works. Uh, sound. All right. Uh, what do we have for male here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anywhere between one and eight. Seven. Commanding. Feel my power. Okay. And his name. Can I? 
I still can't change that. I could like go back, but it would redo everything that, well, it'd undo everything that I did. This is going to be, he does seem like he would have a commanding voice. This is going to be Feanor. Screw it. We'll do straight Lord of the Rings references here. For an elf, why not? Okay, that is uh, good enough for me. By the way, this was a suggestion by Case is Closed 11112. Uh, we. Well, he wanted me to do this for the main game, but uh, I was advised against that. So we're going to do that here. We're going to do that here. Let's create another character. All right, so let's head in once more. Uh, we will do. One to two. And that number is one, so. We got another male. This one will be. Uh, this guy. Sure. What race is he gonna be? One to seven. Four. It's gonna be a dwarf. Doesn't quite look like a dwarf, but. I mean, it could work. That could be a dwarf. Class, he can only be one to five here. Three, that'd be a thief, a dwarf thief. Not entirely sure that's that's a great idea, but we're gonna have a dwarf thief. Oh, and then one to five again. Four, he's gonna be a swashbuckler. Part acrobat, part swordsman, part wit, charm and grace. All right, he gets more uh, armor class. Um, more hit and damage rolls. Okay. May place three slots into two weapon style. May not use backstab. That's all right. Um, okay, alignment. One to nine. I don't know if this is going to matter for the black pit. Nine, chaotic evil. All right. That works for a swashbuckler. Abilities, these I'm just going to choose. Once again, I'm going to go for 85. And we got it. All right, so it seems like he's going to be a, a fighter. So I'm going to put a lot of points there. We're going to take away points from intelligence and wisdom. <laughs> Doesn't seem like he's going to need those. Uh, lower it to eight. And then we'll start working around here. All right, so apparently that's the highest I can go there. Uh, we'll max out... Um, dexterity as well constitution maxes out at 19 and then the rest can go into charisma all right well congratulations you're not entirely stupid so there we go that that works for me i think skills uh i get 40 skill points here um i don't think any of these are going to be useful here We'll put it into open locks. Um, open locks and move silently. Like, I honestly don't know. Detect illusion. Sure. You're going to be using... Two weapon style? Did I put... The other guy properly. I feel like I didn't. A dagger, I guess. Somebody needs to use a dagger. Appearance. That works. Sound. All right, so we're like, what are we at here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. One to eight. Go ahead and generate that. That's going to be seven, which is commanding again. Feel my power. I will try. And this guy's name is going to be Thror. He's commanding, after all. All right, so he's good. Uh, let's take a look at you. Did I put... No, I put two-handed weapon style. Shit. Can I delete him and try again? Shit. All right, mail. I remember some of these. I have to make Feanor again, because I screwed it up. All right, he was an elf. Uh, he was... Fighter Mage. He was Chaotic Neutral. The abilities. Once again, we're going for 85. Last time I got 86. Like, you could just sit here all day trying to get above 90. As long as I get over 85, I'm happy. I can't believe the low rolls that I'm getting. I think 75 is minimum. 
This is starting to get ridiculous. Come on now. It shouldn't be this hard. I've done this before. I'm, I'm saying 85. After all those rolls, I thought about 84, but damn it, we're going for 85 at least. Come on, help me out a little bit here. There's 85. Um, we're gonna take away some uh, wisdom, some charisma, put that there. 8, 50, 1856, he's actually stronger now. His constitution can go up. Um, dexterity, a little bit less there. A bit more there. Yeah, just constitution. I mean, it helps. So that's, that's going to be him now. Okay, skills, it's going to be pretty much the same that I was before. Except, you know, two weapon style? That'd be nice. Alright, so then we're going to do magic missile and sleep. So once I have it, it's a little bit easier. There we go, sleep. Appearance, it's fine. He was also commanding, which is why I chose his name as Feanor. I can't do an umlaut over the E. I don't know how to do that. Didn't have to, didn't think I was going to have to need that today. Can I move him? Oh, well. All right, next one. Let's head in. So gender, one of two. All right, we got a female. I was kind of wondering if this was going to be a sausage fest. Uh, let's just kind of choose randomly. I think there's like 20 of them. So... 1 to 20, I got 18. So let's say that's 2 back. Well, that's not going to help. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, that works for me. Race is 1 to 7. Random jumper generator says 5, which is a halfling. That doesn't look like a halfling to me. Maybe she's really small and I just didn't notice. Uh, there are four classes halflings can be. We're gonna choose number three, which is thief again. This might not work out well for me. All right, so we have five things of thief. One, so you're just gonna be a straight thief. Fair enough. Alignment, one to nine. Three, lawful neutral, okay. Abilities, this one I just pick. Once again, we roll. I'm looking for 85. Like, I think you can get up to 95 in this, so. 85 is like the average. Doesn't feel like it when I get so many 70s, though. Doesn't feel like that at all. All right, there's 85, that's gonna have to do it. We're gonna max out dexterity. Intelligence, wisdom, even charisma. I'm not going to need that much. Constitution, dexterity. That's where I want my points. A little bit of strength, too. I kind of need that. Uh, we'll give you a little extra charisma. All right, that works. Sure. Okay, skills. We're going to say that you can detect illusions. We're going to have you max that out. Okay, so proficiency slots. I'm going to want short and shield style with a short sword. Sure. That'll work. All right. Appearance. That works. Like whatever random ones they pick is fine. Three, six, eight. So one to eight. And that number is four. One, two, three, four. Commanding again. Go, go. And then uh, for her name, we're going to stick with... Uh, actually, no, it's um, it's a halfling, isn't it? I keep on thinking she's an elf. It's going to name her Galadriel, but that doesn't work here. A commanding female halfling. There really isn't one of those, is there? There aren't very many women in Tolkien. Um, Jeez. I can't think of any. I'm trying to think of uh, Sam's wife's name, and I, it's, I'm blanking on it. Uh, the girl that he has a crush on at the beginning there. Um, I'm blanking on female names. 
for the uh, halflings because they like you've spent so little time there. She's going to be. I'll just make up a name. Um, Karina uh, Proudfoot. They get last names. It's very important to halflings to have last names. All right, we're we're good there. All right, next one. Let's see what we got here. Another woman. All right. And we'll go with that one. Like, they, they make me pick the, the portrait first. I don't like that. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Six. This is a gnome. Doesn't look like a gnome to me, but what do I know? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One to ten. All right, what do we got? One to ten. Two. Hey, a cleric. That actually works out pretty well for me. Uh, then we have seven. No, six. Generate that. We get three. Priest of Helm. So, that's... Similar to what a Yontes was, wasn't it? I mean, maybe. Sure. I mean, let's go with it. I I'm not seeing anything that I can really choose there. Uh, one to four on alignment. Yeah, this is restricted when you're a priest after all. That's three. True neutral. Abilities. Let's roll for 85. There's 86, I'll take it. So we're gonna need intelligence and wisdom. We're probably not gonna need that much charisma. Charisma doesn't just really seem all that important. Probably not gonna need that much strength. Let's put it to 10. All right, max that out. And then we'll put the rest in constitution because everybody needs health. You know what I mean? Everybody could use some health. So we'll say that's it there. Skills. Um, you use a quarter staff and a sling. You know what? Sling and single weapon style. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I feel like I, I should point that out. All right, so I can memorize three of these spells. We're going to start with Blast. That does everybody, right? Armor of Faith lasts three rounds. Bless lasts six. Raises morale, so uh, this one's 5%. So we'll do a bless. We will do sanctuary. It only hits the caster. Eh. Armor of faith and like cure light wounds. I'm, I'm just going to put it on. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on where she is. So with her being ranged, hopefully they'll help out there. Appearance, that works for me. We get eight. Number eight. All right, so scholarly. Your doom approaches. I feel like she could have that voice, but it doesn't really work for a gnome. All right, I don't know too many gnome names. Um... So I'm basically going to have to go off, like, World of Warcraft names that... Well, at least the style of them. Um, then we start with, like, F. Uh, we'll call her Fizzle uh, Fritzabook. There we go. That works. Come on, Fizzle. Let's go. Two more to go. All right, gender again. One to two. Another man. That makes it easier for names, usually. Uh, we'll say... Like, I know some of these characters now. There's not too many guys that uh, aren't actual characters in the, the game. Um, we'll say this guy. Sure, that works. Race, there's seven still. Six. This is another gnome. Like, what am I going to do? Four, eight, ten. 
Number 10, Cleric Thief. I have a lot of thieves going for me so far. Alignment can be all nine. Number nine, Chaotic Evil. I have kind of an evil party going for me. Abilities, we're going to roll that ourselves. Oh, that was it. That was an 87. I wish they would let me go back, but as you can see, they don't. 82. 82 is not going to cut it. Oh, give me something good here. Like I said, it just feels wrong rolling this way so often. They should just give me the points, you know, make them standard. I get, like, changing it up like that, but to actually roll for points. I've never liked that about the Dungeons & Dragons system. 84 is not good enough. That, like, basically how much time you spend crafting your character will determine how well your character ends up. So you just re-roll forever until you finally get the point total that you want. I think they ended up changing that. In the rules that I see now, you don't really have this opportunity to just sit here and, you know, roll forever. You, you pretty much have, like, two ways of doing it, and whatever you get is what you get. So yeah, 85 is not that crazy of a number. I went by it once, and now we're stuck here for, like, five minutes. I don't know if Dungeons and Dragons used to let you do this. Never actually played it, but I'm familiar with the rule set. I understand the concepts and all that kind of stuff, at least to some extent. The way that this game used them is uh, still a little weird to me, especially with all the resting that I had to do. All right, there we go. Uh, we have a thief, right? So uh, less, well, it's cleric too, right? So we're going to want Wisdom. We don't need all that much Charisma. We're going to max out that. We'll get a little bit of Strength as well. Where do I want to put that point in Constitution? And we'll lower this to like 12 and then put the rest here. That works. Constitution is important. Okay, 